Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I am starting off center because we have Mr. Zigster on the bed and I want to make sure you can see him. And Marley is talking to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Welcome back. I am here today to do my update for the Panners Bingo Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Kana at the Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook group. Kana came up with five bingo cards and every month she calls bingo numbers and each number bingo number has a prompt associated with it so depending on which card you chose and the numbers that are on your bingo card will let you know which prompts you have on your bingo card and I'm going to show you my bingo card here, my current bingo card. I will also put my intro in the card so you can see a little bit more about the project. I'm not going to go too much more into detail about it because it's all in the intro. But there is a little bit of strategy in this project in terms of you can just select products for the prompts that have already been called or you can select products for prompts you think may be called which I did select a few extra prompts last month based on some things that I think might get called, which is probably a bad idea, but whatever. I don't care. I was having fun. <laughs> so let me share with you the items that I was working on and I actually have two things I can roll out. So let me start there. The first one I can roll out is for G53. The prompt for that was least favorite color, which in my case is orange. I do not like the color orange. Mm -mm. So I went with the Bath and Body Works Ultra Shea Body Cream in the Scent Sensual Amber. So it's this one here. I did finish it. I go through body cream like nobody's business. Scent notes for this are Golden Amber, Wild Berries, Orange Flower, Lotus Petals, Creamy Sandalwood. I freaking love the scent. It's super like sexy, sensual scent. Oh my God. Mmm. I'm currently using the corresponding shower gel and I'm not done with the shower gel yet. So I'm just using some other lotions, uh, like body butters that I need to work on in other projects, but I did enjoy this. So it's all done out of my collection. Yay. The other number that I finished a product for is B5 and the prompt for that was collab. So I picked this Mac and Patrick star powder. It's Patrick's powder. So it's this one here, and my goal was to use this 10 times, which I did. And there's still plenty of product in here. I really do love this powder. Of course, now it's all over the place. And the puff that came in this is like Ziggy's favorite toy. He loves it. If you have, if you have this powder and you have the puff laying around and you're not using it, send it my way. Because <laughs> I will gladly take it. Okay, and then let me share with you the things I'm still working on. I do have one item to roll in because it was a number that was called. So the other numbers that were called last month were what the first one was I-27. The prompt for that was spooky. It could be the name, color, or packaging. And I went with a Kat Von D product, and it's this one here. It is the liquid lipstick, KVD, Kat Von D, whatever, and Lovesick. So my goal was to use this 10 times. I have since used it twice, so I still have eight to go. I'm actually wearing it today underneath another lip product. I have uh, Becca's Ultimate Lipstick Love and Petal on top of it because this is a drying lip product, but I love the color, so I don't care. I'm still gonna wear it. So let me give you a little swatchy poo because it's so pretty. It's cooler toned than what it looks like on my lips because I've got petal which is a bit warmer than this shade but oh my gosh it's so pretty but it is drying so that's why I wanted to top it with something but it's a gorgeous color the next number that have that was called last month that I still have in the project is number n38 and the prompt for that was mini not a sample so I went with another lip product. It is the Bite Beauty Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Glacé. So it's this one here. I have a couple of these, so I need to work this one out. My goal is to finish this. So I will show a picture of how I'm doing on this. I just used it a little bit. There's a little bit of progress. This one's gonna be in it for the long haul because there's a decent amount of product in here and I'm working on a lot of lip products. So it's gonna be in here for a while. If like 
the other numbers in the row get called, then I will probably get cracking on that one. But until then, I will casually work on that one. Okay, and then prompts that I decided to roll in myself. B5 was one of them. So the Patrick's powder was one of them. And hopefully I still have the board up here. And that's part of the row that I'm working on. I have to look at my phone to see. I rolled in three other items that were not called numbers. The first one is G47 overrated product. And I brought in the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And my goal is to finish this. It's not 100% full, but I can't tell you where I am because I can't see through this packaging. So I weighed it. My starting weight was 90.5 90 grams. I'm currently at 88.6. So just, I used just under two grams of product. So not a ton of progress. Like I, I think I maybe use this twice and that's it. Maybe that. This is not my favorite spray. I've, I'm working on a Mac Fix Plus that I'm almost done with. And I think once I finish that, I'll probably start using this on the regular. Unless I'm like, oh, I look really dry. But I need to work on this. It's not, like I said, it's not my favorite. It's a, I don't really like mattifying sprays, but I need to get cracking on it. The next one I brought in is 065, which is a limited edition or discontinued product. And I brought in the Becca, which they're not really discontinued. Well, but it's limited edition. This was a limited edition product. <sighs> pearl Glow Luster Glow Powder in Pure Pearl. So many, like, it's this one here. And this is the pack highlighter it's gorgeous so I'm wearing it today it's a little bit icy for like my skin tone now so I was wearing it earlier and then whenever I got on camera I was like oh I think I topped it with a little bit of ABH Amrezy but it's still a gorgeous powder so my goal is to use this 20 times now I forgot to put this in my book <laughs> to start marking it so I'm estimating that I used it five times. I'm fairly confident I used it more than five times, but we're just going to say five as like a low end estimate. I'm okay with having to use it more than five, more than 20. So I have 15 to go, which is this. I love this product. It's beautiful. I bought that because of Mel Thompson. The last square that I went ahead and brought a product in for was the center, which is a mini or deluxe sized item. So I brought in a mascara. I brought in the Too Faced Lights Camera Lashes little deluxe size sample. So I'm still working on this. It's, I use it mostly for my bottom lashes. So I'm not 100% done with that. I'm currently working on like an Urban Decay Perversion Mascara for my top lashes. So this goes on my bottom lashes, but it's still kicking around and working very well. Okay, I just made a last minute decision. So the number that was called that's actually on my board is 061. And that prompt is magical. So I actually, the first thing I pulled out, I was like, I have to use this. I was looking for something with stars and this has some stars on it, but it also has a unicorn and unicorns are magical. And look at that. It's like holographic and there's stars on it. I'm sorry, I had to use it. This is a lime crime lipstick. The shade is hoodie. So here is the shade. I was like, I'm sorry, I just, I gotta use it. I gotta use it. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I think this is a great fall shade too. So my goal is to use this 10 times. I have a lot of lip products. Normally I would do like a quarter of the bullet, but I've got so many lip products I'm working on now. So 10 times for this one. And I decided last minute to go ahead and add one additional like strategery item because I had seven in this project last month and I was like, let me go ahead and do seven again this month. So I'm going to add in the prompt for 063, which on my board is right above 061 and right below 065, which I'm also working on. So for that, the prompt is 
bulky packaging. So I'm going with a blush and I'm going with the Cover FX blush. This is like one, this and like the Marc Jacobs blushes are kind of like the most bulky items in my like bulky packaging wise that are like singles type thing in my collection. Although this isn't really a single, I guess it's considered a duo, but I would mix these two together. The shade I'm bringing in is Mojave Mauve. So it's this one here. And I did like my blush inventory video and I was swatching these and I was like, they're exactly the same shade. I would just use these together. So that's how I'm doing it. I'm just swatching these two together. And it's not really a fall shade blush, but I don't really have, like the two others I have aren't really fall shades either. So we're just gonna go with this one. And I'm, I'm trying to think, like, I don't think my other bulky packaging blushes are fall shades. Let me see. Change my mind. So I'm going with this. This is a Kat Von D blush or KVD Bl Everlasting Blush in Rose Bud. So this is so it's 6.3 grams. Yeah, so this is like 6.2 versus 14.5 or something. But the footprint is, I don't know. It's just, it, it's, it is bulky, but it's gorgeous. I mean, I think it's beautiful, but it's bulky. Anyway, Rosebud is the shade and here's the color and it's much more fall appropriate. Oh my God, I love this shade. So I'll show you in comparison to that Mojave Mauve, which to me, it's not really a Mauve mauve shade not a mojave shade it's not a mauve shade yeah so that's rosebud so i think that's much more fall appropriate so that's what i'm going with so yeah bulky packaging yay so excited hmm. okay so those are the items i'm bringing in for panners bingo and that is my update for this month thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you're doing well and staying safe please hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time bye You got your banana zigster? <laughs> you got your bananas? Oh. Ah, uh, yes, I know, Marley. He got the banana. Oh, you know what a banana. <laughs> I'm covering him up. I'm starting off to the side because you can see Zixter. You know, you can do the do. I went with the Bath and Body Works Ultra Shea Body Cream in the, sh in the scent sensual. I went with the bath. <laughs> the other prompt that mm, the next one I rolled in is zero not zero <laughs> bye